Today we're going to look at how to import your instrument data into your Enveronics Windows 7, 8, 10 software. Whether that be a 4000, a 4040, or a 4020, the process will be the same. When you open your Enveronics software, you will see this profile screen, but first you're going to go to your instrument tab, and that's where you'll actually import the data. From this screen, you're going to click on the legacy file box and the import button. Make sure you know where your software uh, folder is. Normally we provide that on a CD for new and service units, but you might have gotten an email to you. Um, just make sure it's all in a single folder. We always recommend that folder be uh, named the number of the unit, serial number of the unit. Once you find that folder, you're going to click OK. A pop-up will then ask you what model type your unit is. That will ask 4000, 4020, or 4040. If you aren't sure, it would be on your original order and also on the serial number label on the back of the unit. My unit is a 4020. And then click OK. The unit, the software, excuse me, will then import your, your data. I'm going to select the serial port that my unit is connected to. That's what that pop-up message was a moment ago. You can then read your instrument, which will show you that first that your unit is connected properly. It will also give you some basic information about the unit, the firmware, serial number, the number and sizes of your MFCs, and the total number of solenoids. You can then verify that your instrument data has properly imported into the software by clicking on these other tabs, which will show you the port configuration of the unit, solenoid configuration of the unit uh, by MFC, you can drop down here. And also the calibration data. Here you can see the calibration data for my MFC1, which is a 5 liter flow controller. If I want to verify that my newest calibration data is actually in the instrument, I would look at these values. And then you can click on your Show Instrument Data button. And that will load what's actually in the system. You can see that that is the same. So that verifies. And again, to switch between flow controllers, simply use the drop down here.